shit smoke. Damn it! Yeah, that was line of flying. It's too far away. There's no way I was gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> All the other jumps I did were just practice for this, literally. Everything's been practiced just for this. It's a truly amazing, amazing place. I've never been anywhere in the world that even remotely comes close to what this place is. We're gonna have some fun. So as you're coming through that valley, you have all these like spires and spikes and weird little things to fly by. You'll fly through all of that and then you'll come out here and you're gonna open crazy high. <laughs> I mean like crazy high, depending on what kind of proxy line you choose. The one back behind that white wall, what happens is it goes up and you're actually, it sets back and there's like a shelf that comes out and this shelf drops off into like this weird bowl looking thing. I jump off and I go a little bit like this and then I come back. I'm the one who's honored to be his mama. <laughs> so cool. It's gonna be very cool. Today's the first day of your life, Jeff, that I'm expecting you to do your job. So am I. Yeah, I got stuff to do after this. This is not my last project. <laughs> not by long shot, yeah. If you want to do something special, you have to work for it. And the more special it is, the more difficult it is, the harder you have to work for it. I get scared worse than ever before for every jump. Like more and more scared every jump. You realize how challenging it is and you see things over the years, so you know what's up. I know a lot of really cool people in the cemetery. We support you. Stack up. We like vegan and I without you. Who's in the tree? Is that Joby? I'm here, but I'm fucking stuck. I can't get out. Hey, buddy, they got to you. What's up? How are you? The thickest, most heavy thorn bushes are going to have to chop me out of here. I think you have been rechristened Tree Dragon. 
cut myself out. Well, I was in it for about an hour. Uh, I was suspended above like a big cliff, like right there. The cliff was right below my feet, but I wasn't really worried about yeah. going through because I was, I was you're, like you're, stuckoed you're in, there. Yeah. in there. So, you know, it definitely shakes you up a little bit when you sort of narrowly escape something like that. the side door open and I'll just be looking out like this and when I see the right angle I'm just gonna step out. Okay. Good? Uh -huh. Yeah. Check it again. There's no other jump that compares. This is on a different level completely. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, pretty exciting. Yeah it's gonna be fun. Yeah it feels surreal. And you know, sometimes projects take years to manifest. Sometimes, hell, when I wanted to dive with great white sharks, it took me 16 years to dive with great white sharks without a cage. That's how long it took me to convince people to let me get out of a cage. Things can take forever, but I will continue and continue and continue. And that's just, that's how, that's, that's why I don't believe you can fail. You only fail if you give up. The second you decide, oh, I'm not going to do, uh, I'll just give up, that's you. You're the one making that choice. Right. You're the one choosing to fail. You have to make the decision to fail. Whereas if you don't ever make that decision, you say, no, I'm going to keep going until it freaking happens, well, then you don't fail. You're just in the process of making it happen. but the things that I can do at that time are not. <laughs>